YouTube, down to Bricks here. Today I've got a Star Wars collection video for you. And for those that aren't familiar, in my Lego room, and I will put a card up if you haven't seen my Lego room, you can go and check that out. But in the Lego room, I have one wall dedicated for all my Star Wars sets. Well, it's not actually all my Star Wars sets, it's only some of them, but this wall is dedicated to Star Wars only. And along that wall, I have four big cabinets. Now, I built these cabinets myself. They are four foot wide and eight foot tall, so that's 1.2 meters by 2.4 meters, and each of the cabinets is divided up into four bays. Now, I've also done a couple of videos on the first two cabinets, so this is part three, and again, I'll put some cards up if you want to catch up with those, but I'm very excited for today's video because it's some of the sets I've really been wanting to get to to put in on display. So the four bays we have today is the top bay is all the Star Wars Rebels sets from the Rebels TV show. I also have what I'm pretty much calling my resistance shelf and the third shelf, the third bay is all the Imperials and the bottom shelf is just some incidental sets I couldn't quite fit on some of the other shelves. So, but that's enough talk and let's go and check out some of this Lego. So just give you a quick run through the whole unit. If you like what you're seeing, please give the video a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. Lots of fantastic sets here. So let's go in and check those out with a little bit more detail. So we're going to kick off with the sets from the Rebels TV show. Now when I talk about a bay, each bay, or well, most of the bays have a half shelf as well. It just allows me to display more sets in each bay. But let's start at the very top with the Ghost. Now I've got to say, and I've got to admit, when the show first started and I first saw pictures of, of this set, I wasn't too impressed, I've got to say. But upon watching the show and building this set, I tell you what, I have a real soft spot for it now. I actually really, really love it. Now this is the Ghost and the Phantom is on the back there as well. And I oh know that this whole series just produced so many fantastic Lego sets, but not only Lego sets, but minifigures as well. We get some really cool minifigures. Here we have the Phantom 2. We have an A-Wing. Now that A-Wing was part of a two-pack where it came with Vader's TIE Advanced. And here we have some speeder bikes. So we have Ezra's and Kanan speeder bikes. Great looking speeder bikes those. The TIE Advanced prototype. So cool to get that. And as I said, great minifigs. And there is Vader's tie. And the battle pack. More great minifigs. Love these troopers. That was a great way to get troopers. We'll just jump along with the Imperial Troop Transport Battle Pack. We also got this fantastic walker, the ATDP. That's a beauty. And one of my favourites, the Imperial Assault Carrier that drops these little TIE Fighters. I just think that is so cool. Now there's a couple of sets that I have that I haven't built. The Captain Rex's ATTE, I'm still yet to build that, and the Rebel Combat Frigate. So I've got two more sets I've got to build there, 
And the only set that I don't have from the whole wave of the Rebels show is the Wookiee gunship from 2015. I do have a couple of Wookiees. I just don't have that gunship, which kind of kicking myself now. I didn't pick it up. So that didn't sort of mean a whole lot to me at the time because I hadn't actually seen that episode when that was available, that set. But, oh well, you can't have everything, can you? <laughs> Before moving down, if I had to pick my favourite set out of the Rebel set here, I really do love this Assault Carrier. And just here, where's my finger? This here, love that. It's a real beauty. I've got to say the Captain Rex ATTE could be a real contender, but my favourite set would be the Ghost up there. Absolutely love that. But let's head on down to the Resistance. And I've got to say, I absolutely love this shelf. This is so cool. So let's see what is here. So we have the Home One Mon Calamari. Awesome set from 2009. I thought this was a really cool play set. Came with this A Wing. A lot of fun. Love that green A Wing. Lots of cool little play features. And here we have more A-Wings. And the oldest one there, it's a little bit yellowed, that one. I think that's 2006. I think that might be, oh, I'm stretching it now, 2013. And that's the latest 2017 model. Very nice. Gold Leader's Y-Wing from 2012. And I've got my original Star Wars Trilogy DVD box set there. Of course, I've got on Blu-ray now. <laughs> and moving down, we have the 2011 Millennium Falcon. The 2018, I was just going to point, 18, 2012 X-Wings. So I've done a recent comparison video on those two. Two fantastic sets. Over the back there, we have the B-Wing. And that's the latest one. And now oh, this is really stretching me now. I think it might be 2013 or it could be 14. That B-Wing. And this is the old B-Wing here. From 2006 and came with this stand to put it on so they can work on the B-Wing really love how that looks up on the stand to get some of these mini figs now I've got these minifigs here, now that's going to make more sense, I just couldn't put them on the shelf below, I've in a bit of a, oh I just can't work out what I'm going to do with the Tidarium, but we'll get to that when we have a look at it on the next shelf, and here is the Tantif, now this is a beautiful set, absolutely love this, and to pick my favourite for this shelf is very difficult because there's some real beauties here. Love the Millennium Falcon. Love those X-Wings. I think they're both fantastic. All the A-Wings, the B-Wings I'm a big fan of, but the Tantive is definitely my favourite set on this shelf. It is Absolutely fantastic. So much detail. Stepping over to the dark side, and we have another fantastic lineup of sets here. And starting up here, 
with the Death Star Final Duel, possibly my favourite scene set or play set. I just think this is a real beauty. We have the TIE Defender. Now I've got a few sets here that are from the Expanded Universe and I just couldn't bring myself not to display them with these other Imperial ships. And this is the Droid TIE or the Tide Fighter. Now this was part of a set that had four ties in it. It was the Ultimate TIE Collection I think it was called. Had two TIE Fighters like this one here. Had two TIE Fighters, Vader's TIE Vance and this Tide Fighter. What I've actually done here is because that set is worth a mint, I actually just got the instructions and ordered all the parts and just built it myself. And I did change a few little things on it. Most notable is the blue. I took all the blue out and used light bluish grey. So they actually used to do all the TIE Fighters in black and blue with and grey of course, but it was all the highlighted parts were blue and I've gone and swapped out all mine for light bluish grey so here we have a couple of tie fighters so this is the earlier model so all this was all blue and I've swapped that out for grey light bluish grey and this is the newer style TIE Fighter, I believe that is 2012. Moving down, we have a TIE Interceptor. Again, that was blue as well. We have the old Star Destroyer here. Another be beauty set. That is fantastic. Check out some of these minifigs. With the troopers there, I have an old trooper there, one of the newer ones. And Vader's tie. I think Vader's tie was the first time they actually just did them in black and grey. And they went away from having any blue on there. I think that was 2009 they made that change. You have a Imperial V-Wing over the back there and the I believe this is a 2014 Star Destroyer and we have this awesome TIE Bomber I really wish Lego would give us a new TIE Bomber so this is actually the oldest set here on this shelf this is from 2003 and you can see that it's actually used the old grey, light grey and dark grey and it did have blue on it as well and you can see I've swapped that out and you can see the difference with the greys there so I've used light bluish grey on these tiles and that here and if you have a look it's quite different to the old grey here But so many fantastic sets to pick a favourite here. Oh, jeez. I mean, I have to go one of the Star Destroyers, and it's hard for me to pick between the two because there's some great things about both models. Very hard to split. I may have to slightly lean to the old one. I'm not too sure because I do love how the new one is more accurate. But to give them a run for the money is the Imperial Shuttle. Now I didn't really talk about this one and this is Shuttle Tidarium and of course this is the crew from let me show you up here of all these minifigs. Now it's an Imperial craft but it was hijacked 
by the resistance. So where do I put it? Do I leave it on this shelf? I, I really think it has to stay on this shelf. But of course those minifigs don't suit being on this shelf. Down the track I am planning on doing a indoor scene. So I may move that into there. So I think I'm just going to leave it here it is at the moment. And I've got to say the final dual set here too also. Gives a run for the money for best set, but I'm definitely going to have to go with one of these Star Destroyers. And now moving to the bottom shelf. So wasn't really sure where I was going to put some of these sets, so they've ended up here. And of course this is the 2003 Cloud City. Now I did get this set minus the minifigures. I did get some minifigs with it. And some of the more expensive minifigs, unfortunately, aren't part of this set. These are custom figs. But this is a very cool old set. Some other minifigs in there. And then over the back, I actually extended the platform. So I've got the Midi scale Millennium Falcon with the Slave 1 and the Twin Pod Cloud Car as well. All sitting on the landing pad there. Now we've got the Slave 1 from 2010. Fantastic set that one. And the Sith Fury Class Interceptor. Now, I was very tempted to squeeze this one into the shelf above. And I had all plans to do that. Absolutely love this ship. Malgus there. Great minifigs as well. But I decided to put it on the bottom here because... I'm going to build that Defender Class Cruiser and I'll be able to display the two of them together because of course these are from the old Republic and I think they'll look good displayed together and that wouldn't have suited going on the shelf above so I think this works out and they've got the carbon freezing chamber there as well I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that set well I'm going to leave it built and displayed like that. I might try and squeeze it more over this side somewhere. But not as much going on on this shelf. But this Cloud City does take up quite a bit of space so I think this was a good spot to display it. And that is the whole cabinet. So let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear from you. And if you didn't before, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you did enjoy this video. Big thank you for taking the time to watch. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.